Hi, Jim Schott here from Crystal Group. Wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, fatigue life of solder joints and how the industry has changed a little bit uh, with the introduction of SAC um, types of solder. And SAC is, uh, or SAC, is essentially tin, uh, silver, copper types of composite. And it's, it's really to get away from the lead-based solders because it's an environmental hazard. Uh, so the industry has been moving towards uh, SAC types of solder. Um, <clears throat> The, the importance of uh, vib uh, deflection in a circuit card is, is paramount in terms of limiting the amount of strain that a solder joint sees. And strain on a solder joint really um, relates to uh, the more strain, the faster a crack can propagate. And so there's a, some laws that, are, that have been kicked around for the last 50 years. Um, Miter's cumulative damage law, as, as well as the Coffin-Manson equations for uh, fatigue life. Both of them have their pluses and minuses in terms of um, how you characterize a fatigue life, but essentially it gets down to the uh, basic uh, premise of keeping deflections to a minimum, uh, keeping stresses to a minimum, will help you uh, extend the life of, of a uh, COTS-based architecture, um, or any kind of ar architecture in a, in a, uh, with a solder joint that's uh, in a rugged environment. So uh, the, the key to making this work really is to limit that deflection. So how do you do that? You really have um, uh, very stiff chassis that don't move much. Uh, not moving much means lower stress. Lower stress essentially reduces the crack propagation that naturally occurs or the creep that naturally occurs in, uh, in a solder joint. So that's in effect how you maintain um, optimal life in a rugged environment with a Koch product. Join us next time for another shiny object at Crystal Group.